Well, Leviathan's out, and I tested the beginning three times. So this is not a complete breakdown in the first stage, but what it is is some really important tips and steps. And the first thing you should do is back up your save to the cloud, because there's a serious issue with the saves at the moment. I'll demonstrate the issue later. As you can see, I've had some experience with survival, but this game mode is a hybrid. It's not quite survival, it's not quite permadeath. It's not as scary as you think, but it is more punishing than survival if you die. The one thing you can always remember, when the animation at the beginning stops, that's the direction of your ship. The next very important thing you need to do, especially at the beginning when you're still quite vulnerable, is make sure PvP is off, and make sure multiplayer is off. Now that multiplayer is off, when you go into camera mode, the game pauses. This will give you the ability to check out the terrain, find the resources, and check for any caves nearby. Turning the camera to night mode will help you find certain plants, like oxygen and sodium. But like I said, I started this mode three times. I even checked if the storage on your ship and so forth would act as a backup. It did not. Everything got removed. I also didn't claim some triumphs. They reset. And the thing is, you're going to have to die if you want to get off the planet. It also resets your location every time as well. So there's no point mining materials. Just kill yourself. And as I load in, you're going to see the major glitch that's happening at the moment. It's duplicated my saves. And if I try to delete the duplication, it deletes the original as well. So don't do that. Just remember to save up to the cloud or wait for the fix that should come quite quickly. Okay, I've loaded back into the game. Let's carry on with some more of the Leviathan expedition. I've got the rose from the ashes, which is quite important. Not wasting too much time. I'm heading to my ship, picking up some high dry while I go. Some ferrite dust and some carbon. Those are the three things you need. When you're quite close to your ship, get into camera mode, your game is paused, now scout around. You're looking for nearby dihydrogen, carbon and ferrite dust, and of course, a cave. A cave is very important. Now head to your ship and get in it as soon as possible. As storage is going to be a problem, moves as much technology into your technology area. You can only carry 250 of an item in your general. Now pop a few of your rewards, you're going to need that life support gel, and if you've got plenty of dihydrogen, you can make some more. Pop Remembrance for some batteries. And pop Rose from the Ashes for the Harmonic Seal. Now you can head to the cave. The cave complex is nice and big. This is where you should spend quite a bit of your time. You'll be safe from storms, so that won't kill you. You might need to use a life gel, but this is where you're going to spend your time mining and refining. So just check everything that you need to repair, make the items that you require to make those repairs. Get hassled by any aggressive creatures, kill them quickly. Carry on moving technology into the technology slot. And repair the terrain manipulator. Of course, you're now ready to leave the planet, head to space, do a bit of mining for titanium. Head to the space station, sell any unwanted items. Now we've got some time and we're able to breathe. Here's why you should upgrade your cargo fast. As you can see, the stack sizes are quite small in the general. It looks like it's a thousand stack in the cargo. This will be true for your character. So when it comes to upgrading your backpack, focus on the cargo there as well. Now, let's head to the anomaly. Visit Johnny Five, the Quicksilver guy. Now, if you've done previous expeditions, you can sell the Golden Vector. Hopefully you've picked up some Twitch rewards in the past. You can swap out of some guns or you can sell some ships. And of course, you can have a closer look at the rewards you're going to get for doing this expedition. But don't forget the reason you're here, we've got to go and see Paulo. And it looks like he wants us to collect some unusual items. 
You'll get Liquid Sun from the module he's about to give you by mining resources on the planet. For ancestral memories, all you have to do is feed some animals and collect the resources. But I'll go into more detail in my next video on this. So pop, observing the cycle, and then return to the planet if you have to, to install the solar ray and get some liquid gold. And if you get those memory fragments, don't forget, put them in cargo. Maybe at this point, make a save and upload your save to the cloud again, because that save duplication is a very annoying. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, hit that like and subscribe button, or on the bell thingy. And of course, thank you for watching. See you all later.